Welcome to Harmony and Improvisation with Dub Pierce, a podcast dedicated to helping musicians of all levels to play better music. Join us in these upcoming episodes as we explore the ins and outs of major diatonic harmony. Visit us at HarmonyImprov.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube and your favorite podcast platform. Partner with us at Patreon.com backslash Harmony Improv. Welcome once again to Harmony and Improvisation. Thanks for joining us. All right. I start off every episode the same. I know I always say, all right, and welcome back. Well, all right. Welcome back. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to um, apologize <laughs> because I think I went through four note chords in a way that wasn't all that efficient nor helpful, though I'm hoping that you still were able to uh, study and get what you wanted to out of it. I, I wanted to, you know, the individual key, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, four-note diatonic spellings should be easy to wrote, go through because they are each their own short um, episode. But um, I feel like I got caught in between two things. My One of my goals was to help you to be able to actually spell uh, chords to the seventh. So a triad with a seventh on top of it. I want you to be able to spell major seven, minor seven, um, dominant seven and minor seven flat five four note chords, and so hopefully maybe the the individual keyed lessons will help you with that. You'll be able to go back through them two or three times um, to maybe get a handle on that. I also wanted um, to kind of help you see that a seven note note set key of C, for instance, C D E F G A B. If you break that apart and stack it in thirds upward that you get a more complex extended chord sound than just the major seven C E G B. You get a DFA thrown up on top of that and you get a nine, 11 and 13. Well, I feel like I got caught in between those two focuses or foci. Uh, I wanted to, I kind of probably, it got a little convoluted in there. Um, I'm hoping that you're uh, diligent enough to go back and weed out of it what you need to weed out of it. But here's the main thing. Just get a basic glimpse of the fact that you can break apart a note set and stack extensions on top of the four major types of chords, four basic types of chords, not major. Uh, major seven, minor seven, dominant seven, minor seven, flat five. Um, that, just get that in, in kind of general terms, but I'm hoping that you have gotten a real handle on how to spell in all keys, major seven, minor seven, minor seven, flat five, and dominant seven chords. Um, so uh, <laughs> the, the, those are the takeaways. Oh, I guess I also wanted to, um, you know, kind of solidify your triad um, study from the prior sets of lessons and, and episodes. Uh, I did a bad job, especially for podcasters, because I was constantly referring to graphics that are on screen on the YouTube episodes, but that you guys couldn't see. So once again, I'm, I'm hoping that you can either go to YouTube and get, do a, a, a screenshot of those graphics or, um, you know, some way or another, write down what I'm saying, if it makes any sense to you whatso what, you know, whatsoever. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to reward that bad teaching on my part with a test. <laughs> I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to test you on um, four note chord spellings and try to extend it into kind of more of a lesson by giving you the answers and playing those for you. We're going to do it in um, four little sections. One is I'm going to go through um, each type of chord and test you on just how to spell that type of chord. I'll give you the note name uh, that it starts on and then and have, have you give you some time to think it through, maybe even talk you through the thinking through in some of these, give you an idea of how to how I go about finding those. Um, and of course, there are several ways in the lessons you, you learned how to stack thirds, mem wrote memor memorize triads, be able to stack a third on top of the, the fifth of the, of the triad. And, um, or you can go all the way back to uh, note set spellings, keys, and 
pull a, a chord type out of that. So I'm going to kind of hit on that as well. Um, I'm going to ask you about chord types that are within a note set. And I think we covered that pretty much. You got a major seven, minor seven, minor seven, major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, and minor seven flat five. So uh, keep in mind that you may have to think through that whole note set spelling as an example. Uh, how many minor four note chords are there in the key of C major and spell them? Well, you would stop, you'd say, okay, C major, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C major seven, C minor seven, oh, there's a minor, okay, E minor seven, yep, there's a minor, F major seven, no, G seven, no, A minor seven, ah, there's a minor, and B minor seven flat five, no, nope. okay, so there's three minor sevens in C in a C major note set that are implied by that note set if you stack the notes up on top. That's a D minor, an E minor, and an A minor. And because I know it's in the key of C and there are no sharps and flats, the D minor would be D, F, A, C. The E minor would be E, G, B, D. And the A minor would be A, C, E, G. Okay, so that, that's, the way you, uh, that's the way that you think it through to get the answer to a question like that. How many dominant chords are there in the key of D major and spell? Okay, D major. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. There's two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. And so how many dominant chords? Well, just one. There's only one. So D, E, F, G, A, A7. A7 is that dominant chord. And it's A, C sharp, E, G. Because there's only an F sharp and a C sharp in the key of D major, or the note set of D major. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. All right. Um... So let's get to it. Um, the next two uh, podcasts, I believe, are going to be kind of a more, um, we're going to go back to, to um, those Ro Roman numeral charts, and we're going to do three sets of chord changes, but with chords to the seventh. And I'm going to introduce a couple of, um, a couple of other kind of notation um, things, uh, how you can take a, a G major chord, for instance, and play it over the B. So that G over B would be considered in the key of G, that would be considered the one chord over the three. So Roman numeral one with the capital, capital Roman numeral one slash three. So that's a G major chord over the third. Or if you were paying attention um, in the earlier podcast, a first inversion G major chord. That's one of the things gonna, that's going to show up on that ana analysis chord. Another thing will be things like um, um, non-diatonic chords. Our prior in, uh, chord sheet analysis had only chords within a note set. Well, we're going to throw in some non-diatonic chords. Some of them maybe being, if we were in G major, you might have... Um, a, a dominant six chord rather than G major be an E minor, it would be G major E7. And we may throw in some things this, like, as a for instance, uh, in G major, what's the seven chord of G major? F sharp, F sharp uh, minor seven flat five. Well, if you see a flat in front of the capital seven in a chord chart, that would mean a flatted seven chord. So it might sound like this, G major to the flatted seven chord, F. Now those of you who are really on top of it recognize that if I go F to G, that's the four chord and to the, to the five chord in C major, F four chord, G five chord to C major. So in essence, when you see that movement, you've kind of moved into a different uh, note set, key centered note set. But when, when your tonal center is a G, it's a, it's the, 
one chord and the flatted seven chord. Mm. Okay. Um, so that that is all of that is uh, by way of a um, kind of a, a teaser to the next couple of lessons. And again, I, I know I went off on a tangent. Let's get back to the test. Ready? All right. I'm going to um, ask you to spell a particular four note chord. Then I'm going to give you some time to think through it. And then I'm going to give you the answer for it. And we're not going to do a ton of these. We're just going to do a few. Ready? G major 7. G major 7. G, B, D, F sharp. G major 7. D seven, D seven, D F sharp, A C, D seven. A minor seven. A C E G. A minor seven. A C E G. E minor 7. E minor 7. E, G, B, D. B flat minor 7. B flat minor 7. B flat, D flat, F, A flat. Okay, now you could have thought of a B, a B minor seven, right? B, D, F sharp, A, and slid everything down a half step. B flat, D flat, F, A flat. Or you could have thought of a B major or a B dominant seven, or a B, B major, B major triad, B, uh, B flat major triad, B flat, D, F, flat in the third, flat, D flat, F, and throw a minor third on top of the F, F, A flat, B flat, D flat, F, A flat. I just throw that in there because there's people thinking different ways, okay? C flat major seven. C flat major seven. Should be easy for you. C flat, E flat, G flat, B flat. Because C E C E G B is C major seven. C flat, E flat, G flat, B flat. C flat major seven. E flat minor seven. E flat minor seven. E flat, G flat, B flat, D flat. E flat minor seven. E flat, G flat, B flat. D flat. A minor seven flat five. 
A minor 7, flat 5. A, C, E flat, G. A, C, E flat, G. Some people might have thought, oh, A minor, A, A C, E, G, flat to 5. A, C, E flat, G. Or some people might have said, what is A flat minor 7 flat 5 the 7 chord of? Um, it is B flat, B flat major. And if and you if you overlay B flat major, B flat and E flat over an A minor seven chord, the E has to be flatted because it's from the note set of B flat major B flat major note set. Um, let's grab a few more. Um, E major 7. E major 7. E, G sharp, B, D sharp. E major 7. E, G sharp, B, D sharp because E major note set has four sharps, and those sharps are F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. So the G sharp and the D sharp in the E major, if you've got an E major chord, you know that the E, G sharp, B is the triad, and the D has to be a sharp D. G minor seven. G minor 7. G, B flat, D, F. G minor 7. G, B flat, D, and F. Because a G7 is G, B, D, F. G, G7, remember, is the what chord? C, D, E, F, G. It's the five chord of the key of C major or the note set of C major. So if G7 is from C major, well, no, forget that. If G7 is G, B, D, F, then G minor 7 is G, B flat, D, F. Right? Simple. Simple stuff. A flat, major 7. A flat, major 7. A flat, C, E flat, G. A flat, C, E flat, G. A flat major 7. B flat, 7. B flat 7. B flat D F A flat. B flat D F A flat. Okay, by this time, you're, you've probably started to um, form a, an idea of whether you've got this down or not. I may be going too slowly for some of you and way too fast for others of you. Let's do a few um, chords, chord types um, from a particular key. This is going to be a little bit more challenging and um, I'll try to be, I'll try to explain as I go. Um, all right, here we go. Name the four chord in the key or note set of B major. 
name, name and spell the four chord from the key, our note set of B major. Okay, B major has five sharps. The scale is B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, to B. The four chord is B, C sharp, D sharp, E major. So it's an E major triad with a major seven, E major seven. That chord is spelled E, G sharp, B, D sharp. Spell all three minor four note chords from the key of B flat major. All three minor four note chords from the key of B flat major. Okay. Key of B flat. B flat. C. D. E flat. F, G, A, B flat. The three minor chords are the second chord, the third chord, and the sixth chord. So it's C minor, D minor, and G minor. The C minor is spelled C, E flat, G, B flat. The D minor is spelled D, F, A, C, and the G minor is spelled G, B flat, D, F. All right, very good. Um, spell the five chord of the key or note set of A major. Okay. Uh, A major has three sharps. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. A major sounds like this. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So the five chord is A, B, C sharp, D, E. And a dominant seven chord, an E dominant seven is spelled E, G sharp, B, D. All right, spell the seven chord of the key of A flat major. The seven chord of A flat major, A flat is A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. So the seven chord would be the G minor seven flat five. G minor seven flat five. G minor seven flat five is G, B flat, D flat, F, G, B flat, D flat, F. So the simplest way to think of that 
in my opinion, would be say, okay, A flat major, okay, if I go down a half step, that A flat down to G, that's the major seven. It's a minor seven flat five. So G minor seven is G B flat D F. So it's actually G B flat D flat F. A flat major seven, seven chord is a G minor seven flat five. Um, a G minor seven is G B flat D flat F. So a minor seven flat five is G B flat D flat. What did I just say? G minor seven is G B flat D F. So a G minor seven is G B flat D flat F. Okay? A few more. Spell the one chord and the four chord, the two major seven chords, in the key of D major note set. Okay. D major seven. D major has the note set of uh, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp to D. The one chord is a D major seven. D, F sharp, A, C sharp. D, F sharp, A, C sharp. And the four chord is G major seven. G, B, D, D G, sorry, G, B, D, F sharp. G, B, D, F sharp. One and four chords. Spell the five chord of the key of D flat. The five chord of the key of D flat major. D flat major. Since D has two sharps, D flat major has five flats. D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C to D flat. So the five chord is D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat. Oh, it's an A flat seven chord because the five chord is always a dominant seven. A flat, C, E flat, G flat. The five chord of D flat major is A flat and it's A flat, C, E flat, G flat. All right. Name all minor chords in the key of F major or an F major note set. All minor chords in an F major note set. Minor chords in F major. F major has F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. The chords are F major, G, uh, sorry, F major 7, G minor 7, there's one of them, A minor 7, there's another one, B flat major 7, uh, C7, uh, D minor 7, and E minor 7 flat 5. So the three chords are G minor 7, G, B flat, D, F, A minor 7, A, C, E, and G, and D minor 7, D, F, A, and C. All right, that's enough. Um, so we're going to move on to some chord analysis. And the reason why what we're doing right now is so important is because when you look at these analysis Roman numeral numbers and you start to plug in keys, you got to be pretty quick at it. Um, if you're having a hard time with this at all, 
go back and find the path that works for you that allows you to, in the most quick and efficient manner, understand what a, G, what a major seven, minor seven, dominant seven, and minor seven flat five four note chord spells like e- independently outside of uh, key centers, uh, whether that's through um, intervals or whether that's through seeing it from a key center. Then uh, drill yourself or have somebody drill you that you're not embarrassed to make mistakes in front of uh, related to the chord types within a note set. And they're always going to be major seven, minor seven, dominant seven, or minor seven, flat five. All right. um, Yeah, let's move on.